Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When raw to a domestic uh, reference, husband and wife, husband is intoxicated and is throwing things around the apartment and right now the uh, wife is waiting for us outside the apartment. So we're going to go and uh, see what we have there. Wife should be waiting for us outside. In the parking lot, it should be this building. Seven three. Two three eight nine seven. You advise what ten twenty is gonna female is gonna be waiting at? She's gonna be in the parking lot in front of building nine one. She's in a great tank top and great sweatpants. What's going on, man? You know, this man comes in drunk. Your he husband? He's not my husband, he's my boyfriend. He, you know, he's a live-in boyfriend. Okay. He grabbed me, as you can see. Does it? Okay, wow. Did he make that scratch on your arm too? Yeah. Let me see. Okay. And I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid to go back in the house and I got my kids in there. How many kids are inside right now? I got now? five of them, but three of them are mine, two of them are his. Okay. When he got home, right, you said he came home drunk. Yeah, he, soon, he's still drunk. As, as soon as he got home, was he was he arguing with you? Was he throwing things, or or did an argument start because you said, uh, you know, I don't want to want the ring? I was sleeping, and since I'm not paying no attention to him, or he got mad. He got mad. He started slamming things, breaking things, and I'm and I so I get up. Right. Of course, he he makes me upset. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And then that's how it all per perspired. And I had and I had a, a I, I had a racket in my hand because I he he was you know, throwing stuff around, so I felt threatened. Right. Felt like he was going to do something, so he went to take it out of my hand, and when he went to take it out was when he scratched me and he bruised me, and he threw it off the balcony. Where's your car at? My car is right here. Okay, can you wait for me right here, ma'am? Sure. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. It's, um, How are you doing? Is, is your dad here? Or He's in there. Is he sleeping? Uh, yeah. All right. I can hear him snoring through the door. Sir, Raymond! What's his name, Raymond? Ramon. Ramon! Ramon! Abre la puerta! La policía! I'm sure when we were all kids, we knew the knife deal. Mm -hmm. I see you're good at this, huh? Yeah, I get inside here all the time. Thank you. Okay. Watch your hand. Huh? What? Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm see if he has any weapons around him before I wake him up. Ramon! 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 You got charges? Hey! I want to hear his side of the story. That's why I'm here. Ramon! Ramon! La policia! Shh! It's okay. La policia. Are you okay? Can we talk for a little bit? Can we talk? What, what time is it? Turn around. Right. Well, okay, you go ahead, take me to jail. Okay, turn around. Right there, go ahead. Talking to you. Wanna show what, me? What, what time is it? Oh, hey, what time is it? Come, go! Give me your hands. Put your hands behind your Give back. me your hands, now! Watch out. No, I'm gonna oh. take one. No pants here, you can go there. Stand up. Yeah, they'll give me some pants at the gym. Yep. You got him? Take me for nothing? Yes, thank you for cooperating. What happened? Like, like he, he comes in here all drunk because he's mad because he, he can't go to Orlando with us. So he gets all disappointed because we're going to go to a hotel and everything and have a good time. So he comes in here drunk, starts throwing stuff. And, and then my mom says, Raymond, what's wrong with you? He says, yo, shut up and get out of my face. I'm like, oh my God, Raymond, why are you cursing? And then he comes out here, 
My mom goes out there and says, don't curse in front of the kids. And he pushed her right there on the glass window. And I went out there, I said, yo, calm down. Why are you pushing my mom for? And she fell. So my mom had the racket and she was threatening to hit him with it. And so she put it down and he threw it at her. And I was like, I just, I, I didn't do nothing. I just sat there. I so he know. pushed your mom and he threw the racket at you? Mm -hmm. where, where did he push your mom at? Right there on the balcony. All right. 21D. I just need some information from you, okay? Yeah. Can you write me a statement too? Yeah, I can write you a statement. All right, we'll get you a statement. What happened? Just kick my window out. Give me a hobble. Hey, hit me so I can sue you. you. Right? Yeah, I don't have a glass. Hey, Pull hit him me out. so I can sue Crazy. you. Let me get my glass. Every bruise that I have, I'm going to sue you. Come on. Because I was sleeping. Get on the ground. I don't have a hey, hobble, bro. Do you have a hobble? Yeah, but, hey, oh, I don't have a hobble. I'm in my other car. Hey. I will call my lawyer tomorrow. Shush. Shush. For every bruise that I have, you, I'm, I'm sure going to sue you. Because I was sleeping. I'm going to sue you. Sit, Sit down. down. You, you guys Sit came down. into my house when, when I was here. sleeping. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was sleeping, and you guys get, came into my house. We had permission to go into your house. Oh. Your wife gave it. Your girlfriend gave us permission. So we have every right to go inside sleeping. your house. Doesn't matter. You're drunk. You hit your wife. No, I didn't, I didn't hit her. Oh, yeah? No, I did not. That's not why, that's not why. No, she said that her. I did not. She her. said right. that I hit her? Put Sit him in the car. Sit down. Sit down. Very good. Very good. Put your legs in the car. Put your legs Put in the car. Put your legs you know in the car. Sir, we can do this the right way or the hard way. I was way. sleeping. I worked 10. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I was sedated. And, and, and you guys. Right here. Right. Yeah, got it. All right. No one got their hand in the glass, right? More oh, primitive to commit. What's my charges? For nothing? For nothing? He's going to go for domestic battery. I don't want him back in my house. Well, once the judge sees him, he's going to give him a re restraining order so he cannot come back to the house. He's going to give him a one-time visit to come pick up his belongings. With one of you guys. He has to get, he's got to come with one of us, pick up his belongings, whatever he can take. Then after that, he cannot come back here. You know why I'm gonna sue her? Because I left her alone. I okay. didn't touch her. I went straight to my room, like my room, and left her, left her alone. What's your social security? You know, and, and look at the that she's doing to me. You know what? And this is wrong. You know, after working, you know, 10, 15 hours a day for the last, since Eric had passed. You know what? I don't have nothing else to say to you guys. All right, Ramon. Being a martial artist really helps me out here in the field, practice as much as I can when I'm not at work. So it keeps me stretched out, keeps me flexible, quicker to move. People get out here, they try to duck off on this run or something. I feel like I'm I've kind of got an advantage on them. I'm, I'm used to that sort of stuff. I'm going to roll up on this house, a lot of no narcotic activity. People like to hang out in front of the house. They'll just sell it. We got a Cadillac right here. Yeah, we got one getting moved. All right, he's running. Come here, man. Five break, got one running. <laughs> South 14th Street, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Yep. Five. He's fourteen. Custody. Stand up. Come on. Let me get up. Wait a minute. I'm trying to help you. Uh-uh, hold up, hold up. You got your feet underneath you. Let's go. Hold up, man. The thing coming down with <laughs> On your feet. I ain't, I ain't so bad. Walk. I didn't do it. For what? Let's find out who you are. Find out what's going on, man. No, no. Walk over to my car. You got to do all that, man. Why you being so all like all right. that, man? You stay. Right there. Is this your car? Yeah. Is this your car? Yeah. You got any ID on you? 
Don't pepper. reach it. Look, do me a favor, just keep your hands out. Don't be reaching for nothing, all right? Uh, you got warrants on you, don't you? Who? You. <laughs> I not know I've been a good boy. Come off this car one more time, all right? Mm -hmm. If you've been a good boy, why are you running? Mess with you, man. Messing with me. That's all, dude. That's it, man. That's about the most brainiac thing I've ever heard. That's it, man. I ain't got nothing to me, man. Been a good guy. Good guy. Yup. You want me to take them off? Nope. Just want you to stand still. Just put up. Right up here on top of the roof. Just stay there with him. You got a ladder, ma'am? Thank you, ma'am. Got pointed out. We got a, uh, looks like it might be a baggie. Got a lot of marijuana sold in this area. It's tossed up on the roof and it's conveniently right here through the area where he could have very easily overhand tossed it. So I'm trying to find a way up onto the roof. There you go, 54. Or Craig, 53. I'll see it. Go ahead, 53. Here's your company back, bring a ladder here on 14th Street. This might be it right here. He ran from me. He come up beside the house. And uh looks like he kind of tossed something. That's good joke right there. It's got a uh, good little amount of rocks in here. It's cracked, man. It looks good too. It's not it's good and solid, it's not porous or anything. Yeah, he's got about 10 in there, 10, 12 in there. Yeah. Good little baggy. Good job. We uh man, we looked everywhere for this. Cause I thought at first. When I first started chasing after him, I thought I'd been caught by the magnet and going after the wrong person because the other stayed at the car. And then I get around back here and I thought he might have tossed it for the dog for lunch. So, I didn't know. Man, I thought I'd lost it for sure. But it's that little reflection up here, I guess. Yeah. Good little bag. William. Yeah. Bad day for you. Uh, Bad day for you. That little overhead, that little overhead toss I saw uh, while you was running. That little overhead toss I saw while you was running. Why we're running? going? Yeah, we're going to go with this one. All right. That ain't no ain't way. nobody run from the police for I'm no be reason. In the way they mean. That's cool. All right. Have a good. One. All right. Works for me. I knew it when it wasn't on the ground, wasn't around that dog house. I said, you say, usually they throw it up on the roof. Yeah. That's a good deal, man. Good eyes. I appreciate that. I saw something glitter when I walked over here. That's it. I appreciate it, man. So that was... Yeah, I've had several times got out with people and they throw the stuff on the roof because most of the time they know police don't have access to the roof, so you had to call for a ladder and... We get, saw the, have the something that, when he was running. We just, yeah. You had to have a ladder or something to get on the roof, and a lot of times they'll throw it and come back later and get it if you don't find it. Good deal. Let's get him down to 601, get back out here, do it again. That's why we did. I was hired as a police officer here in Palm Springs when I was 20 years old. I was the youngest full-time police officer ever hired in the city. I was actually so young that my parents had to buy my gun for me and my ammunition. I wasn't old enough to buy it. A lot goes behind this badge, a lot of responsibility. On and off the job, you have to have a high sense of morals and integrity. This truck's parked in the uh, center of a drug-ridden neighborhood known for drugs, prostitution. I see a guy inside of it. I'm going to talk to him and see what he's all about. I want to make sure he's not sleeping or passed out. Make sure he's okay. How you doing? Good. What are you up to? Copy. What are you up to? to? I'm just hanging out. Just, just hanging out? Dreading my drive to San Diego. Five. What's that? Dreading my drive to San Diego. Oh, you're going to San Diego? Why'd you turn your car on? <laughs> to get out of here. I thought you were going to say, get the hell out of here. No, I want to talk to you. Do you have a driver's license on you? 10-4, I'll be out on a vehicle check. Come here for a cell at Warm Sands. Why clear for a plate? 8-6-7-7.
You weren't out here like sleeping or anything, were you? No, okay. I just pulled in here, right? Because we have a we have a no camping ordinance in Palm Springs. I wanted to make sure. Thank you. Part of San Diego you live in. So why why are you right here? Why am I right here? Mm -hmm. Because I'm dreading driving to San Diego. Why this street? Because I've got friends around here, so. Why don't you hang out with your friends? Because they're probably asleep. Wait, they're probably asleep. <laughs> so, but you know they're here. So no, you're. I'm just cruise this neighborhood. It's no big deal. Okay. Is there anything illegal in the car you're not supposed to have? No, no drugs, weapons, hand grenades, rocket launchers, bazookas? Do you have any objection to me checking? No. It's fine. Okay, why don't you go and step out for me? Yeah. Clear for the driver out of Washington. Food and okay, hey, food's not illegal, right? Last time I checked, it's not. You have anything in your pockets that's illegal? No. Mind if I check real quick? Yeah. Go ahead and restate. Don't put your hands in your pockets. That kind of makes me nervous. Okay. Go ahead and turn around, face the car, put your hands over your head. There you go. Spread your feet out real wide for me. Yeah. I just want to make sure you don't have anything. I'm not, I'm not messing with you, man. It's just for officer safety, okay? I mean, I'm sitting here on the street and I'm exactly. being arrested. Think about it. It's almost two in the morning. You're out here on the street. Little yeah. kids live right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Little kids live right around the corner okay. and there's somebody sitting on their street. You see what I'm saying? So it's okay. kind of suspicious, don't you think? A little bit? No, not really. Really? Okay. Would you want somebody sitting on your street at two That's in the morning? That's fine. Yeah, it happens all the time. I live right in a marina. I live on a sailboat. Okay. So you have nothing illegal, right? No. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and check then, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I've got 15, 4, and 6 vehicle search. I've got all my tile tools for green tiles. Okay. And, uh... Are you a diabetic, sir? Yes, I am. You are? Any communicable diseases? Nothing? Okay. Is that why you have the needles? Diabetic, you mean? Or communicable? I'm not going to find anything else in those needles, right? No. Sure, it's not heroin, huh? I'm very sure. So if I test that, it's going to test negative, right? Yep. What I'm locating is a uh, substance known as methamphetamine. That's a very large quantity. Um, it's very common here in the desert. It's made out here. Um, very common for people that are up late at night. It's a party drug. So you're a diabetic, you said, sir? Yep. Okay. And no place you're going to find your prescription anywhere in here? Okay. No, my fanny pack was stolen a, a while back. This is your fanny pack though, right? That is my fanny pack. Okay. That's a replacement for the one that got replacement stolen. Replacement fanny pack? A few weeks ago. Okay. So. Timothy, yeah. do me a favor. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Spray your feet out real wide for me. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Take your jacket off. It'll be much easier. Okay. Right now. You're being placed under arrest for being in possession of a controlled substance known as methamphetamine. Okay. There's a substance that I located inside of your fanny pack that you claimed yours that I'm suspecting is methamphetamine. I'm also suspecting it's an amount substantial enough to be used as for sales. Okay? I don't know. 15, he's in custody, 11378. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Yeah. Why don't you go and walk to the front of your car real quick, okay? Yeah. I mean, there's... there's I mean, other people have put stuff in my pen that they're... Really? Do you see this? What's this? Sure looks like meth, huh? It does, actually. Wow. I mean, the pot I do Look at that. smoke, so... Huh? Those are big chunks, too, aren't they? Where did all those come from? I don't know. No, I mean, seriously. Okay. I was just digging through my fanny pack to get money and stuff earlier. It just magically appeared, okay? So well, that doesn't make sense. I'll go. go ahead and come back to this car for me, okay? You're in an area that's known for a lot of prostitution okay. and a lot of drug usage. It's amazing. Sir, it is not, that is not. That's not yours? Okay, just go ahead and have a seat, okay? Right now you're being placed under arrest for possession of a controlled substance for sales. You're gonna be transported to the Palm Springs Police Department. When we get to the jail, I'll be talking to you a little further. I'll advise you of your rights. How are you doing? How did this all happen? You wanna start off with uh, why you were there? In that neighborhood? I cruise that neighborhood all the time. I okay. don't cruise that neighborhood to sell drugs. I don't cruise that neighborhood for prostitution. I cruise that neighborhood to meet people. Okay. Um, you know, and I just, you know, I just was in the neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. What about the drugs? I've been HIV positive for 17 years. HIV positive for 17 years, okay. And my 
I mean, my body is exhausted. Okay. I mean, I would be asleep 20 hours a day mm -hmm. if I didn't do some sort of upper. Okay. That's the reality of it. I know that's not... No, that's... It's not legal. It's right. whatever, but it's, I mean, I mean, in order to have a life that's not awake two hours a day, and that's what I've been doing. So how, how long have you been using meth? Ten years. What are the needles for? For that. For meth? Mm -hmm. How do you ingest it? Mm -hmm. How do you take it? I shoot it up. I hope this is a wake up for you. Okay, Timothy? I don't want to see you back in the cell. It'll be a wake up that will put me to sleep. A wake up that's going to put you to sleep, but at least you'll be sober, right? Well, okay. All right, Timothy. Okay.